Y'all gotta excuse me for a second. I have some uh, some guests that came in here. Come on in. So, uh, Oh, you guys can sit there. That's actually pretty cool. But I'm going to get you up there. Let's see how I'm going to set this up. Um, let me see. You guys can sit here. You got to do it. Yeah, okay. Like that. So, guys, I had some, uh, some members of the LDS church come in. And... Uh, while I was live streaming, so this is pretty cool. Uh, I'll I'll get right back to you. Uh, wait, um, Pokemon, how how much time do you have? <laughs> um, no, I can I can uh, no problem no problem. You can uh, take your time. All right, for sure, oh, for sure. So, how, how much time do you guys have? Like ten minutes. Ten, ten about ten minutes. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So, okay, so did uh did they did they catch you guys up on on what um on what we're uh, what we were talking about last time? I don't know. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, for sure. Yeah, so as, as you guys can see, I'm <laughs> I do this. So like, uh, I was literally just having a live stream with uh, with Muslims, and um, yeah, so we're just talking about the Bible and the Quran, Jesus being God, and the gospel message. Um, so it's actually interesting that you guys came at the time that you did. It's funny. Um, all right, so, but the last the, when we were talking to the uh, to the missionaries. Um, or when I was talking to the missionaries last time, what we left off was um, like some very scriptural, right? I'm very biblically based. So if something is in the Bible, I submit to it. If it's not in the Bible, I don't, right? Makes sense. So um, my thing was about, because um, I, 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 I heard about Joseph Smith teaching that this, this idea that, um, that you guys can become gods one day. Right. And you, and you guys affirm this. Yeah. Okay. So for me, I'm like, okay, the Bible says that, you know, God is the only God that there will be no God after him. Right. He knows not one. So how can you guys reconcile, you know, that with um, the idea that there will actually be more gods later? How do you guys like, Oh, let me just definitely get something. Well, from what we believe is kind of like you know what we believe is that God has a plan for us and that we will all be like Him one day, and that's kind of what we learned from from the Book of Mormon and also what we learned from the Bible. From what I've seen is in like First Corinthians fifteen, it talks about like different tiers of of heaven, kind of. And so that's kind of how I know that you know we'll, we'll live with God and that we'll also become like him I mean, if we live with him then we're living the way he does yeah and so that's kind of how i've seen it is when we live his law we become just like him and it says in first corinthians 15 from the from the king james Bible, right, it says all flesh is not the same flesh but there's one kind of flesh of men another flesh of beasts another another of fishes and another of birds there are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. Mm. There's one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, another glory of the star. For one star differeth from another star in glory. Right. Right. So we just believe that there are there's tiers to to like heaven. There's the celestial, terrestrial, and celestial. And celestial, since the sun is brightest, would be where God is. And if we all can go back to where God lives and live his laws, then we would be gods just like him. So so contextually, it, it sounds like that's talking about the different types of bodies or glories that certain things in creation has, right? Mm -hmm. And so you're saying that there is a type of glory that we also will have as believers. There's a type of glory that God has. Mm -hmm. So my, my question is, when you say that, you know, you'll be like God, Meaning that you will also, you guys will become as as he is, divine, creating ability, yeah. all knowing, and stuff like that. Yeah, because well, you know, like when we die, it's not the end. It's where our our body and our spirits, because we believe that we are all spirits, uh -huh. and we're here to gain a physical body. And when we die, our physical body stays here on earth, but our spirit goes to a place like the spirit world, and from there. 
we kind of learn and we learn more about Jesus Christ, we gain more faith and we we move up, right? We just we continually go until we're judged. So but so but my question is how how does that reconcile if there's gonna be gods after God? Um how does that reconcile with he's when he says that there will be no God after him? He says that he's the first and he's the last. If he's the if he's the first and last, there's no God before him or after him. How can there be gods after him? Gotcha. Well, yeah, I mean, like from the Book of Mormon, we learned that we will inherit the kingdom of God. I'm not too sure where that is in the Book of Mormon, but I know that it's in there that talks about how we will inherit what he has because we are all heirs to it alongside our our brother jesus christ well that's see that's now i have no problem with us inheriting the kingdom but like the bible says that right yeah. this is you know we're, we're going to inherit the kingdom of god but the problem comes when like to to say that we are becoming gods like that's 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 the difference there like we of course i'm going to partake in god's kingdom you know he's going to glorify us as believers but to say that we're going to become gods is, is is directly against what he says when he says there's not going to be any gods after him. That that's that's what that's the part that I'm I'm fixated on. That's the part I'm stuck on. I can't. It, let, let me just show you. Let me see if I can actually pull it up. Yes, yeah, like somewhere in Isaiah, he says uh, right here. Isaiah, let's do let's do maybe forty four six. And then also do 48, uh, 12. Let's see what those say. So it said here, so Isaiah 44, 6, it says, Thus says the Lord, King of Israel, um, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last. Besides me, there is no God. All right? And then uh, 48, 12, he says the same thing. Listen to me, O Jacob, and Israel, whom I called. I am he, I am the first, and I am the last. If he's the last, then obviously there's no gods that's going to come after him. Mm -hmm. So if somebody is teaching that there's gods that's going to come after God, then that is an obviously anti-biblical teaching. Gotcha. You, you get where I'm coming from? The, the way that I view it is there's a scripture... I don't remember exactly where it is, but we can send it to you after. But it says we'll be like God, and I don't interpret that as we will be God. We'll just be like him. Um, so God has a perfect body of flesh and bone, and so after we get resurrected, we'll also have that perfect body of flesh and bone. Now, see, that right there, I have no problem with, yeah. because it does say that we will we will be like him and glorified in him will we share in that glory, right? So when we are resurrected to perfection, our bodies will be changed and our, you know, we'll move from the physical to the spiritual, from the corruptible to the incorruptible. We will be perfect, just like Jesus is when he rolls. So that is biblical. I totally agree with that. But if, if somebody is teaching that, if someone's going beyond that and saying that we actually become gods, that's where I'll say, okay, you know what? That right there is a false doctrine. Because it's it's against scripture, you know what I'm saying. So um, I need to get the exact ref. I, it's been a long time since I looked into LDS, but it's I've, I saw the reference, and hopefully next time we talk, we can maybe go deeper into it more information. Now that we know where we're what we're talking about, but um, um, I want to get the reference because if Joseph Smith is teaching that we become gods, and that like even that God Himself wasn't always God. That he also became God, that that is just, that's anti-biblical, and we have to call it what it is, mm -hmm. if that's the case. You know, so I got I got to double check myself. I ain't like smashing it all right now, but yeah, sure. I got to double check myself. Yeah, I'll definitely look more into Isaiah forty-eight twelve mm -hmm. and try to all these. I'll look into it because we got to go soon. But I mean, it's good to meet you. Yeah, talk a little bit. Yeah, I'm excited for the next time we can. Talk again for sure. For sure, for sure. Oh yeah, I'll walk you guys out, man. I, I appreciate you guys coming to sit with me, man. Oh yeah, for sure. Hey, say, say bye to the LDS uh, elders, guys. I appreciate you guys.